Morning to you. Thanks so much for being with us. I'm Christine Sorensen here with my special guest co-host, my husband, Marty Griffin. Hi, honey. It's fun to have you here. It's a kiss. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened before. <laughs> this is exciting. We've talked about doing this probably since we met. Oh, there's no question. And there's a reason why we haven't. I mean, there's, I have a talk show on the radio right. at 9 o'clock. I have watched her show every single day since she started. 9 o'clock. I'm on the radio watching this show, and it's been a pleasure. This is a great, great moment for me. I have been really, really jazzed about this. I know. This is so, I kind of feel like we're like Regis and his wife Joy, you know, yes. and she would fill in. Yes. All right, so we're going to talk about things you may not know about us, like how we first met. Do you want to tell the story? Go ahead, honey. Okay, well, we were set up on a blind date. I was working at Channel I wouldn't say it was Four. blind. Well, true. There's never actually a blind date in TV. She was, I, I, I had moved back here from Dallas. I was watching TV on a Saturday. I saw this beautiful woman with a Gucci outfit in the middle of a cornfield in Westmoreland Not County. Gucci, but. <laughs> what was it, dear? It was just silk. <laughs> a silk outfit in the middle of a cornfield in Westmoreland County. And I said, whoa. And within a couple weeks, somebody called and said, you need to go out with this girl. And when I walked up the stairs to her apartment in Mount Lebanon, mm -hmm. she fell immediately in love with me. That's and true. here we are. Yes, yes. Some, pretty, pretty much like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was working at Channel 4. You were at uh, here yeah, at KDKA. Right here. And our first date was a Steeler game. And I remember sitting there and uh, you were talking about your job. And I almost thought you were joking because you were so passionate about journalism and your career. And then I was really blown away by that. Well, the truth of the matter is uh, we have been blessed. I told my uh, kids this just the other night. You know, I talk about chasing the rabbit. You have to every single day chase the rabbit. You have to find something you love. And our kids are always talking about, well, what, what does this job pay or what does that job pay? And I say money is irrelevant if you're not happy. I, I talk about this all the time at dinner. You have to find something you like. I told my uh, daughter, Chloe, if you find that, that you like uh, bending paper clips, <laughs> And you can do that better than anybody else because you worked harder than anybody else, then that's what you're going to do. Well, and we've been blessed. I mean, it's been so much fun to be able to come back to Pittsburgh after you, first you moved to Dallas, then I followed. We were there a couple years. We got engaged. In fact, we got engaged in Tahiti, and I brought this picture because it was just so gorgeous. <laughs> we had this incredible cruise. But there was kind of a funny story about when you proposed because I wasn't really expecting it. You bent down on one knee on the uh, balcony of our, our cruise ship room, and... This is one of the greatest stories ever told. Hold on, let me do a demonstration. <laughs> Hold on. No, this is really what happened. So uh -huh. I had sweatpants on, sweatpants, and I bent down on uh -huh. my knee like this with the sweatpants, and I pulled out the ring, and it fell out of my hand. And bounced on the ground and on the ledge that was this, this high, high, over which was the ocean. 200 feet below. <laughs> and the ring clinks against this little steel mm. ledge. Yes. My right. heart skipped two beats. <laughs> I grabbed the ring and here we sit. Yes. It's yes. an amazing Whew. story that we're Glad that here today. Out. <laughs> Tahiti. What a place to get engaged. Tahiti. That was amazing. And then we moved back to Pittsburgh because of this. Look at this amazing family. Marty's whole family lives here. We get together a lot for Steeler games and it's just incredible. Your uh, three of your four brothers and sisters are here. Uh, they have many kids among them. My kids love being with their cousins. It's really special. Well, we, we uh, you know, it sounds trite to some people or cliched to others, but the only thing that matters, and you'll hear a lot of this uh, throughout this show, because the, the folks that are guests today are really, truly so close to us that yeah. these guys are my family. Mm -hmm. And uh, JP and his wife, the truth is they're so close to what I believe in, in terms of family and commitment. And the only thing that matters to us every single day is family and really, truly why we're here. You can work anywhere in the country, yeah. but at the end of the day, when your mom can watch you on television and your friends and your father and your cousins and aunts and uncles, we are truly uh, blessed to be able to do what, exactly what we love every single day. And we get to spend so much time with them, which is wonderful. Uh, and, and speaking of family, yes. I have to show you this hilarious picture. So in preparing for the show, I looked through some of your old photo albums, and I found this great picture of you when you were young. And then I was scrolling through my pictures, and I saw one of Vincent, which was just a couple days ago, and I took him, take him to lunch. Well, look at these pictures side by side, okay? <laughs> Can you stand it? There's the V-Man. I mean, you're like twins. It's hilarious. He's a lucky boy. He is a lucky that boy. That man, he is so <laughs> he is so hooked up. 
man, he's on the path to greatness. <laughs> well, you, know, <laughs> you are an amazing dad. You really are. You love being a dad. Your passion for your job is just as passionate for the kids. We have a few pictures of you also feeding Sophia, walking her around the neighborhood. I mean, when you became a dad, you like just ran with it. Yeah, I carried them both. I even fell once. Well, here you are feeding them, which as you can tell, we laugh a lot in our house, a lot. <laughs> and then you carried him uh, all around the whole neighborhood. I mean, it was hysterical. Everyone in the neighborhood, there you are. <laughs> and then when we had two, you carried one in each arm. Yeah, that's when I fell. <laughs> I flipped over onto my back so I didn't hurt the kids. It was sad. <laughs> Real quick story about boys. I was just uh, telling her this. So I'm in the bathroom with my son, and, and the, the importance of oh, fatherhood and no, this how sons. This is a true story. And how sons watch what their dad do. So my son didn't wash his hands. I said, Vincent, you got to wash your hands. There's two pieces of soap on the counter. One of them's a little piece of white soap, and one of them's a big hunk of Irish spring green soap. Okay. okay. And so Vincent, I said, Vincent, use the white soap. He goes, No, Dad. I want to use the green soap because that's what you use. So, so my point is, my point is, for, for folks that believe they don't have an impact on the life of their son, my son watched me grab soap, right? And, and it's so important every single step that you take in your life with your kids watch that he wanted to make certain that he washed his hands with the same soap that dad uses. Aww. It's amazing. Well, all three of them are amazing. We have a picture of the three of them on a sled, which I know we love going playing outside with them winter spring summer fall it's always a blast they have been the biggest blessing in our life other than us meeting for the first time for sure in fact i love the picture of you putting up the christmas decorations because this shows how much you care our house is like the griswold uh, house of christmas decorations it's amazing yeah and people do make fun of us i love that you know what it is what it is i mean we don't care i find great <laughs> i we buy a new Big, clunky, big, lighted something <laughs> every single year to the point where it does. It looks like that Griswold's Christmas in our oh, neighborhood kind of has this idea that everybody should have white lights. And so they drive past our house and say, it's the Griffin. No, they don't. People stop <laughs> and they love it. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> some of them. We have got a great show for you coming up. Like we said, today we're playing Regis and Joy. And Joy. we've got a lot more ahead this morning. Stick around because Marty is my co host all morning. And coming up next, a touching story of a family whose son had cancer and how their experience led them to found the charity Pennies from Heaven. We talk with our good friends, John and Joni Perry, about their son, Trevor, and the millions of dollars they've raised to help families with kids at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh.